The following is a presentation of The Day. Hey, my name is Rick Coster. You're watching The Day's live lunch break. Uh, streaming as I speak from theday.com. Normally we do this in a secret studio inside the the baronial structure of the day newspaper. Uh, we're on a field trip though. When we get to do that every once in a while. We're at the Telegraph Record Store in New London and there's a, I just ran across a vinyl copy of the first Angel album which is hair metal at its finest and I'm probably gonna have to fight our guest Lip Bone Redding or see which one of us gets to walk out with it. Um, before I properly introduce Lipbone, let me say that I think it's important to note this is not about me, but if anything has been proven in the year of live lunch break shows we've done, it's that quantifiably I am not cool. So I am wearing sunglasses not to try to be cool, but rather over the weekend my left eye sort of popped and it has this grotesque blood explosion in it. It's a, it's a hemorrhage sort of a thing. I'm okay, don't worry. Don't send cards, don't send flowers. But that's why I have sunglasses on. So if Peter pulls in close, you don't get grossed out by my eye. Now, having said that... I just really thought you were cool. <laughs> but Lipbone, <laughs> he knows what cool is. So if he's going to say that, then I'm going to accept it. Okay, there's a new thesaurus out in the world. It's the latest and most comprehensive thesaurus in the world, in this universe, the solar system. They don't have enough adjectives to try to describe what Lip Bone Redding brings to the table because this is a multifaceted dude, and we're glad to have him now located back in North Carolina. He's in New London with us today. Lip Bone Redding. Wow, thanks. You are cool, man. Thanks. Thanks for having me. And thanks for uh, Daphne and the Telegraph for having me in this fine town of New London. Here we go. I've been talking to your picture, baby. I've been chatting with the wall. Did chat for hours, then say, I love you. I didn't get me no answer at all. But I've been drinking with your picture. You remember the one, baby, the one down in New Orleans the night we took the night we fell in love. I stare for hours and attempt to kiss you. Mm -hmm. Get a little closer, baby. It ain't the same. The brain tastes like an old leather glove. Mm -hmm. That's all oh, when you left me. One bare light bulb swinging. What am I gonna do now? I got no one left to cling to, no one left to sing to. Ah, oh, when you left me, I thought I heard you laugh. All you left me with, baby, was just this one little photograph. And now I've been drinking, I've been drinking champagne. You know, champagne's the best pain in the world. Yes, it is. I've been doing a little dancing with the wall. I like the jitterbug and boogaloo. Watch out, step aside. Every time I turn around to dip you, dear. I lose my grip, slip, trip. Woo! Then I fall. I'm falling down all over the place. Mm, may I have this dance? Mm, I've been talking to 
your picture, baby. I've been chatting with the wall. I talk for hours, then say I love you. But don't get me no answer at all. Just chatting with the wall. No, baby, don't get me no. I don't get me no answer. What you say? What you say, baby? Don't give me no answer at all. <laughs> Come to Cloder Farms. Lose yourself in the possibilities for your home, yard, heart, and soul. Come to Cloder Farms and see what we're building for you. Offshore, out in the sound, your island getaway awaits. Yes, Block Island beckons. With so much to do and see, a Block Island getaway is now closer than ever. Ride the high-speed Block Island Express from New London on one of four daily departures. Where an island escape is yours at GoBlockIsland.com. That's GoBlockIsland.com. So by doing the house and trade in, you know, that we use that towards our, our down payment towards this um, condo and uh, it made life so much easier for us. Um, it took all the worry out of everything. Hey, it's live lunch break. I'm Rick Coster from theday.com and uh, we're streaming over theday.com right now with the marvelously talented Lip Bone Redding. We're doing a field trip today and we're in the Telegraph's record store on Golden Street in New London. If you're not here, and some of you aren't, get over here now, bring food. We've had a little food because Rich and Daphne have a plate of macaroons back here. Oh, yeah. So Lipbone and I are blowing coconut breath at each other, but it seems to be yeah. okay, right? Yeah, it's all right. I just, I'm just wiping it off the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spewing flakes of coconut. but. Um, if you have never seen Lip Bone before, or the first song was your initial exposure to him, obviously he takes a songwriting skill and a vocal style and can move it to the next level because you have the ability to vocally approximate a number of other instruments. And the obvious touchstone, at least from that one, was Louis Armstrong. Yeah. Sort of. So when I first heard you, I thought, and I, at that time you were based in New York City, I thought, this guy has got to have roots in the South. <laughs> so there is a history there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from uh, North Carolina originally, and we were just, and you're from the South also, yeah. so we were, we were talking about that uh, New Orleans, Dallas thing, and the uh, Kessler Theater down in Dallas, and all that kind of good stuff. And so l last fall, Whitbone actually played a show at the Kessler <laughs> Theater in Dallas, which is an old part of town called Oak Cliff, and when I grew up in Oak Cliff, which is where Stevie Ray Vaughan mm. went to, but uh, it was not the really cool place <laughs> that it is now. It's the cool place now. It I is think, cool. Well, I think, you know, Deep Ellum evaporated. Deep Ellum. Yeah. Well, I don't say evaporated. I don't want to offend anybody down there, but it just. It sort of did. It kind of did, right? Yeah. 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 So, which sort of brings to mind another question um, in terms of influences and experiences. You traveled to South America, you've mm -hmm. traveled uh, the world studied sort of in the Himalayas even yeah yeah no I went, I went for a long trip to uh, India a few years back and uh, ended up you know I was gonna come home you know but I <laughs> I just stayed I and I, I fell in love with the music and the people and the, the food and just the, the the place as if your exposure to uh, pan American music wasn't enough and it's clear that you've assimilated a lot of it what was it like? How did those experiences in South America or uh, Asia have? Well, how does well, it translate? Well, it's interesting because I was, uh, I was uh, just on the drive up here from New York today. I was, uh, I was, I have my iPod on shuffle, and I have this playlist of just stuff that I've recorded from different places and this one thing came up and it was a guy whistling on the train and it was beautiful and it was kind of eerie and 
like he used a, a very odd scale and uh, it was beautiful and i thought god you know this is why i, I travel is right. because i'd never hear this if, yeah. if i if i hadn't and it's and it's a person it's not like a, a you know a team of a production team putting out a product you know which is fine but i mean this is a real person with uh, an authentic expression in the moment and uh, the world is filled with that and right. I, I really in, appreciate and in, enjoy that uh, almost more than anything and what's great in your particular case is that you have an innate songwriting ability and curiosity on which to infuse those talents so it's pretty cool what you do thanks thanks all right, we got uh, Lip Bone Redding with us here on Live Lunch Break. Want to play another one? Yeah, yeah, I'll play you a new one, actually. Right. This is uh, one I've been messing around with for about, I don't know. You know, some songs that takes me, for, let me put my uh, retainer on. Thank you. Um, uh, some songs, you know, they come like this, and some songs, oh, they take 10 years, maybe, you know. This one didn't take 10 years. This one, this one I've been working on for about uh, maybe less than a year and just... I just keep playing it and trying to find that momentary access to it. And here is the thing. Out on the road, got a lot of friends. Time never ends. There's a party going on every night till six in the morning, y'all. Mm -hmm. And I ain't got nothing against laughing loud, no having fun. It's just the time keep on ticking away, y'all. Mm -hmm. Better love someone. Yeah, better love someone. I've been out on my own. When I was young, y'all, I thought I was grown. <laughs> now I haven't needed nobody else. If I was broke, I fixed it myself, y'all. Tonight I'm at the airport with a suitcase. I'm gonna catch that last night home. I better run. Because time. Ticking away, yeah, yeah, yeah. Better love someone, mm, better love someone. So much pain and suffering in a world I don't understand. When there's enough stuffing for every woman, child, and man. Something inside is begging me, what are we waiting on? Oh, when time is so precious and short, baby, man. Better love someone, mm, better love someone. You better love some, someone, love someone before it's too late. Love someone to show feel great, y'all. Now, love someone. Love 
sound your island getaway awaits with so much to do and see a block island getaway is now closer than ever where an island escape is yours at goblockisland.com so literally we're changing deeds you're using your house at an agreed upon number towards a down payment for the purchase here it couldn't be much easier really We believe in the art of handcrafted furniture. Workbench built in the USA to your specifications. The Cloder Farms Keystone Collection. Furniture handmade just for you. And see what we're building for you. Hey, live from the uh, Telegraph Record Store in New London. My name's Rick Coster from the Day.com's Live Lunch Break. We're listening to the astonishing Lip Bone Reading. Has anybody ever asked you if you were kin to Noel Redding? No. Well, they, you know, somebody once said that maybe I, I might be the uh, mysterious love child of Otis and Dusty Springfield. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> but probably not. Um, it's, it's, it's okay for us to talk about this because off air we were talking about the power and glory and seduction of seaweed snacks which apparently fueled you all the way down from New York, right? Uh, yeah, with coffee. It's an odd mix, but, you know, <laughs> there's something combustible about it. F potato chips, you say, with no calories and sort of like <laughs> not really great I sushi. said it's like eat, halfway eating sushi, just the eating those uh, seaweed snacks. So yeah. we think you should be aware of what we talk about when we're not on air, so that's why I was bringing that up. But what I was thinking about was root beer. So I don't know why. <laughs> I eat seaweed snacks and I love root beer. So. You know, it's hard to get really old-fashioned root beer. It is, it is, it is. You gotta. In your travels. Midwest is the best place to get it. Yeah, okay. they've got it. They got it out there. Get out to Iowa, man. They're root beer freaks out there. <laughs> They're trying to push it on you at every turn. Corn and root beer in Iowa, huh? Yeah. So, now, given the fact that you are incredibly adept at what some folks would call vocal orchestrations, the, the noises and sounds that you make using your mouth, in addition to just singing. When a song comes to you, uh, does it, as you said before the last break, you sometimes work on a song for months. As the arrangement comes together, does it instinctively say, well, this is a song where I will embellish it with some of this, the, the horn sounds or is, do you instantly know? No, that wouldn't work for this. Or yes, yeah, so sometimes. I mean, it's sort of like you know, you don't, you don't have to, you know, you don't put frosting on everything. You know what I mean? It's like it's good on some seaweed. Stuff. Yeah. Now I haven't tried that, but it might be good. You know, but you know, I just I try to figure out what the song wants first, and I think that's as I've gotten you know more mature as a songwriter, I've figured out uh, uh, leaving things out sometimes is 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 uh, more powerful than putting more things in. The first time I ever heard you on record, I obviously I didn't know it was your voice doing some of those things. And now that I've gotten to know your catalog a little bit, I was reminded of something that it was either Martin Sexton or Bobby McFerrin said mm. that if you have that gift, and I'm ascribing gift to them, they didn't say I have gifts, but you know what I mean. You have to be careful with it so that you don't overplay your hand 
do you, is that a, something you need to be aware of? Yeah, you don't want absolutely. The, yeah, the yeah, idea yeah. of a gimmick to take away from the fact that you're writing really good songs. Yeah, I mean, I my I, my first love was to to be a songwriter. I really right. wanted to write songs, and I you know when I play in the subway back in the back in the day, I would always I'd try to come up with a good song, like something that would have a beginning, a middle, and an end, and almost like a little world or a little universe that you could get lost in, and then take you on a trip. Yeah, take you on a trip somehow. Right. Yeah. Well, in that context, here's a segue for you. Almost never uh, on live lunch break do I take it upon myself to request of an artist a song. I just feel like I don't need to intrude into that. But I think one of the first things I asked you today was, would you play a song for me? And you said yes. Absolutely. And you're going to do it, and I appreciate it. This is Lip Bone Redding. So this is a song that uh, I was living in San Francisco for a while, and uh, I was... I just decided I'd take to the streets one day and walk around with my guitar and come up with something. And this is uh, that song. It's called Firefly.
it's pretty clear that um, we had something to offer that other listings, other agents' listings did not have to offer. We offered them the opportunity to um, sell their home, get their home sold in a very slow, tough market. Come to Cloder Farms. Lose yourself in the possibilities for your home, yard, heart, and soul. Come to Cloder Farms. And see what we're building for you. Offshore, out in the sound, your island getaway awaits. Yes, Block Island beckons. With so much to do and see, a Block Island getaway is now closer than ever. Ride the high-speed Block Island Express from New London on one of four daily departures. Where an island escape is yours at GoBlockIsland.com. That's GoBlockIsland.com. Hey, we're here with a very fine lip bone redding. My name is Rick Coster. This is theday.com. We're on a road trip in the Telegraph Record Store in New London. And uh, I also just noticed, Rich, that you have the first Captain Beyond album up on the wall. And it's high up there, but I'll bet I can jump and get it. Uh, one of the greatest records ever made. Now, lip bone. You have, as we said earlier, relocated back to the heart of the South in North mm -hmm. Carolina, yeah, where the barbecue sauce is made with vinegar. Yeah, yeah well, no tomatoes on. They don't put any tomatoes it's in. A <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Um, what I want people to know is where they can see you and where they can get your product because this is a really talented dude, and if you're not familiar with it, you need to get some merch. So, um, website. It's really difficult to remember, but if you it's called lipbone.com. <laughs> so <laughs> it doesn't have any umlauts or uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no things hidden, over it. No, nothing like that. No, no. hidden X's. No, that no, no, no. Just L I P B O N E. All right, dot and com. so you got what eight albums, right? I have lots of records. Lots of I, records. I, you know, I, I don't know how many. I, I have, uh, yeah, a, a lot. lot. I, because I, there was a period where you know. Talk about D D I Y. You yeah, know, I was that guy. That was you know, that guy. I was like, as soon as I discovered they had uh, burners on the computer, man, I was. He's like, you were off. I, my life was one continual recording session. So, <laughs> I, I there's stuff out there. If you find it, let me know. Send me some because I think you know, I've lost it. Yeah, with that, this is completely <laughs> off subject. With that DIY thing, mm -hmm. with multi-track recorders, mm -hmm. with your ability to do the vocal orchestrations, yeah, yeah. have you ever just wanted to sit in your room and with just with your mouth do the entire, like, Chicago make me smile sweet? <laughs> Listen, that you just pretty much described my winter right there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, but you know, like, uh, I'm working on this new record now, and the um, everything is... Uh, just based on uh, sounds that the body can make, you know. What, <laughs> you know Interesting. Wow. <clears throat> I know. Can't wait me. to hear the rhythm. No, yeah, the horn <laughs> section is amazing. <laughs> uh, but no, you know, there's a lot of clapping and you know, yeah. like, like all my vocal sounds. That's stuff. fun. You know, there's some funny moments. Yeah, <laughs> I would think. As it's moments. I would think so. Yeah. So, are you up here on tour? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm always on tour. I'm like on a perpetual tour. I kind of so. like. Tonight, you you weren't quite sure of the address of where you were playing, right? <laughs> but I know it's right next door. I just no, don't have the numbers in my head. It's you know? my living room. Is it really? Yeah, it's oh, right, okay, all right. It's right down by the water, so you'll okay. enjoy it. Now, uh, so tonight, <laughs> celebrating our, our hostess, Daphne Martins. Can I say how old you are? 27. Holy 27th smokes. 27th birthday. Uh, Daphne and Rich, of course, own the Telegraph, which is where we're performing. You're performing. I'm making idiot of self. Right next door, 33, y'all will be there tonight with Daphne and uh, Hannah Fair and Lip Bun Redding. Anywhere else in the neighborhood while you're here in the next few days? Uh, let's see. Well, I'll be back. Uh, I'll be out down in uh, New Jersey at um, Outpost in the Burbs. All right. And then I'll also, yeah, that's, I think that's in Montclair. And then in Westfield, I'll be at uh, Coffee with Conscience on Saturday night. So All right. Friday night is at the Outpost. And, so hop in your seaweed-fueled vans and get to see Lip Bone. Now, I have one last question before, mm -hmm. and thank you so much for doing this. My pleasure. Um, 
You have traveled and experienced some different sort of metaphysical uh, philosophies and stuff, so I don't want to get religious about it. But if you believe in reincarnation, would you come back in your next life as a dog in Santiago? <laughs> I may. I may. I, I just may. want to know how serious I'm, that song is. I, you know, I might. Lip was that ready. my cue? I hope that was my cue. That was because a transition, <laughs> wasn't it? It was good. Because it wouldn't be a bad life to be a little dog on the street. In Santiago, in Santiago, Santiago, Santiago. dog on the streets of Santiago Once had a home, now I'm stray Times I run alone with my compañeros Freedom is a struggle I don't want it any other way In Santiago 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 Now listen, Mama was a purebred Oh, she lived the life She had fences and family She was a rich poodle's wife She fell in love With Daddy's one floppy ear And one night just hopped the fence Hey, that's how I am here Born in a trash bin behind the Moneta, just known the rough life since I was a pup. Mama said, Welcome to your life, kid. Make the most of it. You ain't got nothing to lose, never give up. Good luck. In Santiago. Santiago. Santiago Santiago Garbage cans, but a little something to eat well. I'm not worried, I'm not worried, not in the least. Cause one man's garbage is another dog's beast. The moon's the guardian of all the lost children. Music, music, music. That's what warms up the night. And here on the corner, we howl at the moon. All who are lonesome tonight and all that is right. Oh, Santiago, 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 in Santiago.
Thank you so much. What a privilege it's been to have Lipbone Redding with us. Thank you very much, sir. I should say, say the same. Thank oh, you. man. Uh, thank you to Rich and Daphne for having us here at the Telegraph. Uh, next week, we'll be back in the Enclave at the Day with uh, Jasmine Bond on Thursday, live lunch break. And I want to remind you that on August 31st, which is a few months down the road, but don't forget it, Lip Bone will be back in New London at the Hygienic Art Park with Dog Bite. So mark that on your calendar right now. I'm Rick Coster. Thank you guys for doing this, and we'll see you. Have fun tonight. Thanks. I will.